Hey everyone, it's Jessica at Pretty Prints of Paper and I wanted to talk more about how I set up my Google Keep. This is my notes app that I use. I don't have an iPhone and I work at a school that has a Google campus. So I use a lot of Google apps and this works really well with the setup that I currently have. And I was recently inspired by watching a lot of K-12 educators really amping up their use of the Google Keep app and decided to refresh mine to add some headers to it. So this is a really awesome app and I, it's easy as clicking here, adding a note, and you can do all sorts of things in here, which includes things like reminding you, so you can snooze things in the future. You can add other people on Google accounts to make this list with you, so whether that's a packing list or a grocery list, what have you. You can change the color. Right now I'm using the dark theme, so these are the colors within that. And then you can add in images, like screenshots. You can keep them in your keep and then you can archive them when you're done. And then here you can add labels, you can add a drawing and you can show cho uh, check boxes so that you can create little tasks. And what you can do is also make them indented. So it's a really useful system for simple checklists. And then if you wanna keep them up at the top, you just pin it on the upper right hand corner. So let's talk about how we get these headers. I use Canva, which is a pretty simple and free graphic design app. And if you don't have a lot of fonts on, on like PowerPoint, then this gives you access to a ton of different fonts. All I do is I click on custom size and I add 5.5 inches by three inches. Make sure that's selected over here. And then I create new. And it'll bring you to this and you're gonna create basically a new page every header you want to create. So that will be adding a page here and so on and so forth. You see that it starts off with the background color with white. So what I'd had to do was get all the hex codes for all the different colors of the dark theme. So the first thing you want to do is make this dark. Click on the background, click on this color code, new color. So that is your background. And then you kind of have to create your font sets. This is one of my favorite fonts, which is Playlist. Whoops, that's really big. <laughs> so say that I wanted to do mm, groceries. Center it on here. And then what I'm gonna do is duplicate that text box by copy and paste. And this is what creates a shadow effect. So I take this front layer and I change the color and then you kind of play around with it until it shadows just the way that you want like that and then you can keep adding pages and then copy paste can keep adding on the kinds of headers that you want and then when you're done with that you download the image and I just keep it at PNG and I'm just gonna select this first one. If you select multiple, it'll download in a zip file. You just unzip it and you'll have all your images there. There we go. And then when I go here, all I have to do is come up to the note and add an image. And then it uploads right here. And then what you can do additionally is change the color to match this. Obviously this is an extra step that you do not have to take. You can do any color here and if it stays black or even gray, you can choose any color and don't worry about matching the different color palettes. So you can do this as a pinned note by clicking pin up here and it'll add itself right here. Or if you don't, unpin it and it'll just go back down. And you can move these around to your liking and this is really cool because here's the stuff that you want to uh, hit right away, prioritize, and then down here you can have stuff that um, is important to you, that has a pretty header, but you don't have to worry about keeping that right away at top. So this is the one I have for work. The additional thing that you can do is you have labels. So whenever you take a new note, like 
I'm a teacher, so I'm always thinking about stuff that I can do for class or looking at resources. And so this is a bar, which is anti-bias, anti-racism. So if I wanted to like paste a, a video or a link to something that I saw and like my thoughts about it, I could add that in here and then I can add a label and just add these here so that when I want to look for those ideas, curriculum thoughts, uh, lesson planning for class, I can just click on the label and that's what will show up. You can always edit them whenever you want. So the cool thing here, um, I made three different sets of headers because I have three different areas for work and personal and my blog stuff. So I changed all the fonts so that it could be discernible. So this is one for work with this font. And this is the one for my blog and art stuff. And this is the one for my personal. And I these can change anytime. I just have to add another one and just keep updating the text and then adding it to the Google Keep here. The other cool thing about this is that, okay, if you just ignore all the numbers, there's this quick bar here is click on keep and then all of your notes show up right here so that whenever you might need to process your email then you can take some notes right into the sidebar so that is my little quick ditty on google keep what are the headers that you might want to use i use this when i don't have my planner with me and i don't have time to go and grab it or if it's i see something on the web and i need to snatch it quick screenshots are great in here links are great in here uh, so I just quick add it into my Google Keep and then I can file it away for later and then I don't have to have a lot of as many physical post-it notes. So let me know if you think this is helpful, if you're going to try it out. Let me know, ask your questions below, let me know what headers you're using. If you like this video, go ahead, subscribe, share, like, whatever. I just hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you in my next video.